Welcome to your first Photoshop project here in Gantt Tech. Our first Photoshop project, we're going to use a couple different tools, get used to the Photoshop environment, workspace, and then create some different country flags. So first up, you can see I have the project that we're going to be working on pulled up from our class page. You see we're going to create Costa Rica and some other countries in Photoshop using a skill called the Marquee Tool um, in Photoshop. But let's talk about Photoshop first. So this is Adobe Photoshop. I'm using the Mac version of it. This is Photoshop CS6. Let's go through the overview of the workspace. So you can see from Photoshop, very top, they have the what they call the application menu. I have my file, edit, image, layer, all these different options. Right now they're grayed out because I don't have a document open. But let me just create a basic document as an example. But now you can see these are, I can print, edit, image, layer. This is your applications menu. And throughout the year, you'll get used to um, using a very a lot of these. Also on the Photoshop workspace, you can see right here, this is called the options area. And this options area goes for tools. So as I click, this is my tools bar, which I should have mentioned first. You can see I have my move tool and all these tools that you'll use to create your documents, your digital designs. And as I click on different tools, you can see this option area changes. So as I change my tool, this area here in the workspace changes as well. So I have my applications bar, I have my tools bar, I have my options area that ties along with my tools bar. Then I have my document that I create on. Then on the right side, I have a bunch of panels. The main panel we'll talk about is the layers panel. So how Photoshop is built is on layers. Um, what's on the bottom layer can be layered on top. What's on top hides what's on bottom. You can group a bunch of different images using layers and you'll see that throughout this year. So I have my layers panel. I also have my adjustments panel. You'll get to use that. I have styles. I have my color swatches. And all these panels you can collapse by simply double clicking on them. I normally leave my layers panels big. You can also see here you have different workspaces that you can do. This is essentials, but I, if I wanted to work in 3D, you can see 3D shows me the different panels that I need for 3D or motion. You can see they have a timeline where you can create animated GIFs, those type of things. I'm going to leave mine on essentials for now. This is just a basic overview of Photoshop. And in the project, you'll get to see, um, we'll start to create some things. Again, this is the applications bar. You have your options menu that ties along with your toolbar on this side. You have your document. And on the right side, you have your panels that you will interact with. So let's get started with our first project, creating flags. So this is the document on our class page. I can click this to blow this out a little bit bigger. First thing we're going to be making is Costa Rica. So I'm going to show you how to make Costa Rica. And the skills I teach you to do Costa Rica, you'll be able to make the rest of these flags. Germany, Russia, Thailand, Italy, Belgium, and France, and Ireland. So Costa Rica looks like this. It's a blue bar at the top, a blue bar at the bottom, two white bars, and a red bar. So in Photoshop, to create Costa Rica, I'm going to close this document that I had previous. I'm going to go to File, New. For the name of the document, I'm going to call it Flags. Now for the width, I want it 600. And for the height, I want 400. I want to make sure that this says pixels, not inches. Then I have my resolution. For We're going to leave it. I'll do 72. Print quality is 300. 72 is standard for web, but we'll go ahead and do 300. That's fine. And then you can see my color mode is RGB color. I want to change my background to transparent, and I'm going to click OK. So here I have my window. It's 600 inches, 600 pixels by 400 height. And you can see over here, I have my first layer. It's called layer one. First thing I'm going to do is name my layer. I'm simply going to double click on this area. I'm going to type Costa Rica because that's what I'm creating. 
And now I'm going to introduce you to the first tool you're going to use, and that's going to be the Marquee Tool. The Marquee Tool is the second tool on the toolbar on your left. You can click and hold it, and you can see there's a bunch of different type of Marquee Tools. There's a rectangular one, there's an elliptical one, a single row, single column, and any time on the toolbar, when you see this little triangle area right here, that means there's more options that you can select for that tool. So if I click here and hold it, you can see I can select the elliptical marquee tool. For our Costa Rica, we want to do the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm simply going to drag, to use this tool, I click and drag across the screen like that. Now when I do that, this area is selected. I could move this, I can do a bunch of things, but in our instance, we want to fill this color with blue. So how do we find colors in Photoshop? You can see on the toolbar right here, you have two colors, black and white is the default. I can change this. This is my foreground color, and this is my background color. Another tool tip, when you mouse over a tip, you can see it'll tell you the name of that tool. If I wanted to change my foreground color, I can click on it. Then I can click on, it brings up my all the colors imaginable. Let's try to get that color there. And I click OK. Now I can fill this area a couple different ways. Now I can fill this area a couple different ways. In Photoshop, there's more than one way to do the same task. I'm going to introduce you to another tool called the Paint Bucket Tool. And it's right here. And the Paint Bucket Tool simply fills in a area. Because we have this area selected, it's going to fill in only this area. So I'm going to click on the Paint Bucket Tool. And if you don't see the Paint Bucket Tool on your toolbar, you might see this instead but it's the tool right underneath the eraser. And I click and hold it. Remember, anytime it has this little area, there's more options. And I'm simply going to go to the Paint Bucket tool. So now the Paint Bucket tool, I'm going to fill. You can see my options bar. It says foreground. So I'm going to fill it with that foreground color. And I simply click inside of there. Now, you can see I'm getting closer to Costa Rica. I have blue at the top. I need to do blue at the bottom. I'm going to go back to Photoshop. I want to use my two tools I know how to use. I'm going to click on my rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to drag across. I got an error there, so let's do it again. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to select my paint bucket tool here, and I'm going to fill it in. If I want to deselect, I can simply click one time with my marquee tool, and it deselects that area. So now, you can see I need my red area inside of there. It's a little bit thicker, so I'm going to come back over here. Start out while here, going to estimate this, something like that. So I've dragged across using my marquee tool. I'm going to select red. Actually, I want a true red. Then I'm going to use my paint bucket tool right here and I fill that in. Then I'll simply click to deselect. Now the last part, I have this checker part. That means it's clear or empty. Whatever this is shown over, it's going to show. But I want to fill that in with white. In order to fill it in with white, I can click on this. But I see white is my background color. They have this little area right here where you can switch between foreground and background. Since white's already there, I'm going to switch. Click on my paint bucket tool. I don't need to select anything because it fills in solid areas. Since there's blue up here and red up here, the solid area is all of this. So I don't need to use my marquee tool to fill in white. I simply can click there and you see it fills in white. I do the same thing and it fills in white. And with that, we've created Costa Rica, the Costa Rican flag. Again, the tools that we used in this lesson was the marquee tool, the second tool here. We simply selected that one. We dragged across. Then we used our foreground and background color. We clicked on this. We selected the color that we needed. 
And then we used our paint bucket tool, which is the tool below the eraser. And remember, if you don't see it, you see that, that's called the gradient tool. You'll use that in future. You simply click and hold, and then you can select your tool, and we filled in that area. Really, really simple task. So if we look at that, we've completed our Costa Rican flag. I want to save it. Every time I complete something, I save it. And I'll save it to flags, and you can save it somewhere on your flash drive. I'm going to save it right now to my desktop. Remember when you save your work, you also want to save it to your Google Drive on the class page. Well, that's Costa Rica. Let's do one more. So that, we created Costa Rica, but again, I told you the skills I just showed you, you would be able to create all of these flags. So Germany, Russia, Thailand, Italy, Belgium, France, and Ireland. I'm going to give you time in class to complete those so you can hone these skills really good. So I'm going to do Germany. To find all these flags, I could Google it. But there's a website, flags.net, that has all the country flags. So I'm simply going to use this to click around. So I want to do Germany next. I'm going to click on G. You can see Germany's like that. It's a solid line of black, a solid line of red, a solid line of yellow. I already know how to do this inside of Photoshop. So I'm going to come here. Here's a new thing. We're not going to create a new document. We're going to create all our flags inside of flags.psd. Remember I told you earlier, Photoshop works in layers. So over here in our layers panel, at the very bottom, you can see some options. You'll use some of these like effects and blending and linking later on. But what we're going to do is create a new layer. This was our Costa Rican layer. We want to create a new layer by clicking on the create a new layer icon. It's right next to the trash and the new folder. I'm going to do just like I did before. I'm going to call this Germany. And how layers work, what's on top will hide what's on bottom. But I don't want to see Costa Rica. So you can see this little eyeball right here. I'm going to turn that off. Now I can simply work on my Germany. Let's go back and peek again to see what we're trying to do. I have a solid line of black, a solid line of red, and a solid line of yellow. So for this, I can kind of estimate. I'm going to click on my marquee tool again. I'm going to click and drag. It's like a third of the way. These are not going to be perfect. Later on, I'll teach you how to make things a little bit more perfect. The top is a solid line of black. So I'm going to click on black. And my foreground color, I'm going to click on my paint bucket tool. I'm going to fill that in black. I'll go back to my marquee tool. Since that's highlighted, I actually can use the arrows on your keyboard and I can move it if I wanted to nudge it. Or you could redraw it. But I'm going to just use this to show you. So if I push up on my keyboard, or push down, I can move a selected area. The next part was red, all right? You can see I have black as my foreground, red as my background, so I'm going to click on that to so switch it around. Click on my paint bucket tool, fill that in. Now I don't need anything selected, so I'm going to click one time because this whole area is yellow, and remember, paint bucket fills in solid areas. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to find a yellow. Looks more like that yellow. Click on my paint bucket tool. Fill that in. And you can see here I have Germany. Really easy. So these simple skills using the marquee tool, the paint bucket tool, and your foreground and background colors, you can make all the flags that for your first lesson. You also can see here I have Germany. But if I turn on Costa Rica, I can't see Costa Rica because, again, layers work what's on top, hides what's on bottom. If I turn off Germany, there's my Costa Rica. The next step that you're going to do on your own in class is follow along. Next, you need to do Russia. So let's look at Russia. I would come to flags.net, click on R. You can see Russia looks like this. White, blue, and red, you know how to do that. Again, the first step you want to do, create your new layer, rename that layer Russia, and then you can use the tools.
this is your first lesson, you can complete the rest of this on your own.